많이 기다렸지 I'm so sorry 나 이제 결심했지 Are you ready? 탕탕탕 위에 틈새인 나를 들게 탕탕탕 I may or may not have converted to become a buddy so um How's it going you guys and welcome to week 41 of In K-Pop News where I could you caught up in the week's news in K-Pop all in one wrapped up video. So without further ado, let's get into the week's news in K-Pop. <laughs> In season two news, man, the hype for this is so real. The much anticipated second season of the successful survival show, say that five times fast, boys. Produce 101 is kicking off. And that confirmed that the premiere date for the new season will be April 7th. And then all of a sudden, stories about one of the contestants, a monster rookie in the show began to arose and spread. He apparently beat out all 100 other contestants to get that number one place. He is a talented individual, a rapper who writes his own lyrics. All we know is he comes from brand new music entertainment and we don't know a name. We don't, we don't, who is he, man? I don't know who this is. This could be like the second coming of G Dragon Christ, you know? <laughs> and even comparisons between him and Jun So Mi began to happen. And if that's the case, I need to find out who he is quick. And now, most recently, Mnet held a special stage on M Countdown, showcasing the Produce 101 contestants, of course, with a new and revised male version of the song, Pick Me. And already, some people have favorites. The most notable contestants are 29-year-old trainee Park Songwoo, wink boy young trainee Park Ji Hoon, only 18 years old, and heartthrob lit by man dubbed the male Jung Che Young. Boys, girls, everybody. Well, especially girls. Get ready for season two of Produce 101 when it premieres on April 7th. <laughs> In comeback news, God7, Gay7, Daddy7, whatever you want to call them, God7 is almost back on your screens with the new comeback, Never Ever. And now we have a fresh teaser to fanboy and fangirl about. With a fresh and angelic beat, and you dumb asking if you are ready? Fuck no, I ain't ready. And they also uploaded the album medley teaser showcasing the tracks in the new album. And guys, the tracks range from something you will listen to Sunday morning driving on the way to church to getting freaky deaky Friday night. Like, it's all over the place. But ready or not, GOT7 will be back on March 13th. In comeback news, the madness of comebacks continues with none other than Monster. X. Monster X will be wrapping up the clan series with this series titled The Clan 2.5, The Final Chapter. And of course, they gotta give you some of the shimkums as they release individual member teasers leading up to the comeback. Now, now I'm not good at math at all, but I know glitter plus wet hair plus Monster X equals me becoming pregnant for some reason. Like, it's not physically possible, biologically possible, humanly possible defies physics, Einstein would question his, his life. Get ready for Monster X to come back on the 21st. In a whole new Beast news, the fresh start for Beast, now known as Highlight, will be back. Highlight will be releasing a mini album called Can You Feel It? There will be a pre-release on the 13th and the full album release on the 20th. And to get a taste of what's in store, check out the MV teaser for It's Still Beautiful. And please check out the teaser on their new YouTube channel, Highlight. But anyways, this sounds and feels like what the title is saying. It's just simply beautiful. Get ready for Highlight on the 20th. In comeback news, the unique group known as Infinite will be making a much needed comeback. During a fan meeting in Seoul, Infinite shook everyone with this intense clip saying, coming soon, 2017, May. And it seems like we'll be finally seeing Infinite back again real soon. In debut news, the gorgeous girls of Priston is still teasing their debut with tons of individual teaser photos. And if their debut isn't a success, which, come on, let's be honest, it'll be so successful. Successful, 
Successful. Successful. They definitely have a career in modeling, man. Look at them. Damn. We can finally lay our eyes and ears on Princeton when they debut on the 21st. In what? What's going on, news? Mama Moo performed a cover of Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk for their musical. And during this segment, Mama Moo dressed up in Bruno Mars' wear. And sadly, they also had to color their faces a more darker skin tone. And now the term blackface and Mama Moo are trending online. Since then, Mama Moo has apologized, saying, Hello, this is Mama Moo. We are extremely sorry for our insensitive actions and use of blackface in our video while portraying Bruno Mars. There is no excuse for what we did, and there are not enough words to explain how regretful we are. We are heartbroken to have hurt our international K-pop fans so deeply. We love and care so much for all people of every race, sexuality, religion, and gender. We love all our fans and are so sorry to have hurt our fans in the black community. We understand now why our actions were wrong and we never meant to do harm with our video. We are extremely ignorant of blackface and did not understand the implications of our actions. We will be taking time to understand more about our international fans to ensure this never happens again. We hope that you will help to educate us on these and other issues so that we can become better people and better artists. Thank you so much for bringing this to our attention and allowing us to right the wrongs that we have done. Now, these kinds of incidents happen in Korea and other Asian countries quite often. They obviously don't mean hate or disrespect towards the race, but it's just ignorance, really. In their history, there hasn't been a big presence of black people or black culture in their communities as opposed to Americans. But that doesn't mean they're terrible people for doing this, but they're learning, they're progressing as a community and as a country, and as the world becomes more diverse, you see more and more foreign people going over to Asia, back and forth, you know, cultures interacting and you, you get to learn more about certain communities, certain cultures that you never heard about or seen before. And now I, I see the change happening. I see the involvement of more acceptance and more curiosity towards different cultures. And the further time goes along, the further that people will begin to understand. It's also funny that Bruno Mars is like part Asian and like even a smaller percentage like descended from Africa. But when you talked about issues like this, as far as blackface is concerned, there's different sides. So I definitely want to hear what you guys think about this issue. Is it a big issue? Are they being insensitive or are they just unsure about what they did and they're, they're still learning? Let me know down in the comments. Now on to speed round, let's go. CM Blue to come back with their seventh mini album, Seven Degrees CN on March 20th. Tiara will come back with their 13th mini album in May with the title track fit for the summer season. IU getting ready for a comeback with a pre-release on the 24th and the full album is still yet to be determined. And this album is said to be completely self-composed. SM confirming that Henry, yes Henry will finally be having a comeback. Girls Day has finally decided at least on a comeback month, which is actually late this month so get ready april to come back in you guessed it april <laughs> kim chung ha to have her solo debut under mnh entertainment oh lord i'm sweating already sai will be coming back in april production of the new album have been started since last year suli and choi Za, i don't know that's how you say it has broken up as well as jisoo and min but jisoo and men could be leaving jyp as their contracts are up in june <laughs> But anyways, guys, that is it for this week in K-pop news. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give this video a like. Check out my other in K-pop news videos over there so you can get some of that K-pop knowledge. Also, share this video with others so they can get some of that K-pop knowledge as well. And if you enjoyed this enough, please hit that subscribe button for more. Now, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Annyeong.